Hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for August 2023. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we will take a look at what's going on in love. So you and your person, whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. And if you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing, hitting that like button. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's take a look. I keep seeing aces, aces, aces. So the ace of wands, the ace of pentacles. So it feels like this month, oh, by the way, happy birthday to all of the late July Leos and the ones coming. Hope you guys have an amazing month. Now I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. So let's see what comes out in the reading itself because it looks like this is going to be a significant month of shift and change. Things are going to start looking up, which is a great energy. All right, so the Magician comes out as your overall energy in reverse. That just says to me that whatever you've been putting into motion, the things that you've been manifesting, this is that time in which they're going to start coming in. So the focus doesn't need to necessarily always be on what you want to create in the future. I feel like this is things that you had been focused on in the past that you were hoping to start creating and then those getting momentum in the month of August. So in your current energy, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you, you're definitely getting out of a space of feeling like, what about me? What about me? I always feel left behind. So that's good because it, it does feel like things are changing. Below that, we have the Two of Swords, another great energy in reverse with the Five of Cups. So this is definitely indicating that you're leaving behind something that was creating some kind of emotional instability. Maybe you were feeling stuck for a while and now you're finally starting to come out of it. I think you're recognizing that if you look back, Although there were some trials and tribulations, some things that were possibly emotionally getting you down, your focus still stayed on your manifestations, the things that you wanted to create. And maybe it was a tough decision that you had to make. You had to walk away from something, change some aspect of your life, even though it may have been difficult and emotional. It feels like whatever that shift is, you were either re releasing the energy connected to it or you actually made a physical change. You did something. You said, I'm no longer going to allow myself to feel this way. So I'm going to keep moving forward. So that's why I feel like it's shifting in August. In the near future, we have the three of pentacles in reverse with the, okay. This makes perfect sense. With the three of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles, it feels like instead of focusing on other people or um, situations where you feel, for example, in work, if there was a lot of focus on group situations, it may be that you get an opportunity to be working on your own or focusing on something that is going to be a little bit more fulfilling to you specifically. So for some of you, this could be a side job, or it could just be that you get some type of bonus or you get something that comes out of nowhere, but it feels very much like, here you go, spirits going, this is a way for you to start feeling motivated. For some of you, this could also be a shift in a job and you're finally thinking, well, if this isn't going to be what I want long-term, maybe I need to start looking at these opportunities that are showing up for me. You're not going to miss something. If it's meant for you, you it will come to you. Let's see what we have under that. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's creating a sense of yes, that's about stability. So is the Nine of Pentacles, but she's more focused on her money. So where in the past you've been trying to manifest things, now I think you're going to be focused on what do I do with some kind of an increase that I'm going to be getting. So that's what it feels like. Momentum and increase in finances and keeping a focus in that area of your life. This is good. I don't use this word, but it's coming up. It's like a bountiful energy. So it's good. It's positive. It's definitely a, a good momentum. Now, what you don't see coming is the five of wands with justice in reverse, and then the emperor. So where things had been imbalanced in the past, you don't have to worry about things balancing out. Here, the five of wands usually is an indication that there could have been either some drama or something going on, but I feel like this is saying you could be learning a new skill because they're actually training is what they're doing. They look like they're 
going at each other, but it can be interpreted both ways. So learning something new, and that actually takes away that feeling of, I don't think things are, are balanced for me, but the emperor is below this. So you're taking back control in some area of your life. And if that's because you finally feel like you have the time and the energy to open up to new financial possibilities for yourself, especially if you have your own business, then you're learning something new that's going to help balance things out, which puts you back in this position of feeling very in control. Now, this could be a boss energy as well. Um, at times, that person may seem a little bit difficult, but the emperor is someone who likes to teach as well because they know things. They've reached that level, so it could be someone who is empowering to you as well, and it also is your energy. So you're embodying both. So it could be taken either way. Just take what resonates. Let's see what the what spirit wants you to focus on is the seven of wands. So there's going to be a lot of attention on you. So you may feel like you're having to kind of push people back. It's very fiery. Um, typically like a lot's coming at you. So you could find yourself in a position where you're kind of having to push away a lot of options. I feel spirit's trying to tell you. It could be at times a defensive energy. So if there's a lot coming at you, you could feel like, okay, slow down. Like, I get it. Maybe things have been slow for a bit. And now I'm having to be in this place where I need to guard my energy because it's just too much all at once. But they want you to focus on setting proper boundaries as well. The Five of Swords in reverse, it's not going to be a difficult thing. In reverse, see in the upright, he's already won the battle and below it's... Yeah, this is something that maybe you battled in the past and you're sometimes you still have a tough time overcoming some of those challenges where when people come at you, you don't quite know how to deal with the energy or you may feel a little defensive, especially about your choices. If you're making a decision that other people don't agree with, well, it's none of their business. You have to do what's best for you. And I just don't feel like you want to fight with people about it. So you'll definitely be setting those proper boundaries when you start making these changes that you want to make or where you're putting your focus. Under that, we have the Four of Wands, beautiful energy. So this is exciting, something to celebrate, something fun around the home and feeling much more stable. So I, I feel like what they're saying is you're going to be doing a lot of celebrating. And it's important because if there are choices, again, that you're making, if you're changing something, let's say about your home life and other people don't agree with that choice, that's your business. And I think you're going to be really happy about it. It looks like money's just going to get a little bit better. Or you're going to handle things better in this month than you have before. You're taking back control of that, which creates that sense of excitement, celebration, and uh, stability that maybe you felt a little off kilter in the past. All right, so your challenge, we have the Ace of Cups, is getting on board emotionally with this new experience. So it may be hard at times to trust, okay, can I settle into this? Am I really going to be okay emotionally? You may be asking your, that, yourself that question, but it is this new opportunity. Remember I said you could be like fighting people off. I kept feeling for those of you that are single, that there may be a lot of energies that come towards you and you're like, good God, I, I only want to like find one person. So it may be hard for you to open up and say, okay, I'm I'm ready. Especially if you were dealing with emotions that needed to be released with that five of cups in the current energy. So it could be a little challenging to open up that way if you're starting into something new um, in your love life. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify and see what other energies we get. Let's start with the magician. Okay, so to clarify that, we have justice in reverse. I think for a long time you were asking the question, like, is this ever going to happen for me? Is it meant for me? And Spirit's saying, yeah, it's already, the decision's already been made. The things that you desire that you're meant to experience, you're going to. And then there's that Ace of Pentacles to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely have a new beginning in your financial life. Is it, it's going to be a little bit different for everyone. So it could be that you want to look for a job that pays more and you're going to find it. It could also be that you're starting a, a new adventure of some sort. Could be in investments, could be in banking, could be anything that you want to put your energy into, including any kind of a side business or 
becoming an entrepreneur. Something new is definitely happening in that area. The Knight of Pentacles says slow and steady wins the race, right? So again, manifesting something, but knowing that you have to take these steps uh, one at a time, baby steps. And then we have the Ten of Cups, which is awesome. So it's going to make you very happy. There's, there's definitely connection here for those of you in a relationship where I feel like things are going to be very happy this month, celebrating your birthday, but it's also joy, just in general, a closeness that I feel for those of you that have found that person. Now, the Five of Pentacles with the Two of Swords in reverse, Nine of Cups. So whatever you walked away from, something emotional that had been lingering for some time, this is celebrating it's a little over celebrating sometimes. So we have to be cautious when the nine of cups comes out because it can mean there's an overindulgence, but it's also wish fulfillment. So you made the right choice. If you were questioning yourself about any decisions you've made, like I said, you're making the right choices. Take comfort in knowing that it's the step in the right direction and it's going to be fulfilling for you. Two of swords in reverse with the five of cups, ace of swords. I love what energy is coming out for you. This is great. This is clarity. And that's what I think you needed in order to make this choice. If it was emotionally difficult, understood. But it is really about releasing something that seemed to be holding you back or was emotionally stunting. So you had to move forward and you have gotten the clarity that you need at this point to make that choice if you haven't already. The Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles, this is in reverse. God, you guys are getting all the great cards. So the Wheel of Fortune is coming out. This is your time. That means that things are obviously starting to turn in your favor. Again, I just want to reiterate, if you've been having some challenges, I'd say get excited because whatever's coming in for you is changing it in your favor. Things are going to start increasing. And it does feel very money-focused. So if you've been having troubles, that's going to change. Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, Lovers in Reverse. For some of you, this was an end of a relationship of some sort, a disconnect, or just finally releasing something that didn't work, even if it was years ago. And you realize now you're in a, a good place about having released that because you realize that it had to in order for you to move forward. We need You need the free space. Now, if you're in a healthy relationship now and you're just releasing some of the emotions attached to something that happened in the past, that's really healthy because then you can obviously give all of yourself to somebody else. Now, the five of wands with justice in reverse, page of swords, this feels like release. I'll be honest with somebody again from the past where there may have been drama and things weren't balanced out. I think you finally have shifted the scales Whoever's energy this is seems to be detaching from you. So if in the past you had felt still very connected to it, it seems to be releasing. And that's why I feel like you feel much more empowered. So the justice in reverse with the emperor, we have the two of pentacles. Things were not balancing out and you realize that. So you have to, that's taking back control because if it's imbalanced and this person created that because there was some drama, there's a need to get back in control. All right, so that's what you don't see coming is those things dissipating, at least throughout the month of August, especially if you're going to be learning something new, whatever energy had to move out of the way is making space for you to be able to focus on things that you hadn't been able to focus on. All right, so the seven of wands with the five of swords, there's the five of swords in the upright. I love this because at first it may say you didn't want to fight something and now I think you've overcome that and that's why they put it in the upright here. It's saying if you have to put up a certain type of boundaries or you have to close yourself off to certain people, his energy is like I've got one sword up. I'm not really messing around. I, I kind of know what it's like to go through battle and I really don't want to do it anymore. And if you're having to fight people off, I mean that's not a a bad problem to have, but it can be a little exhausting. So is it defensive? I think it's just prepared. You're prepared for whatever's going to come to you at this point, where in the past, maybe you hadn't been quite prepared for it. Now you are. And that's what's creating this happiness and joy, especially around your home space. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Interesting. So some of you could be getting really excited. Um, 
and starting something new. And it could be that you're doing it within your home. Meaning you could be working from home. Again, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to start a business, it's something that you're incredibly passionate about. And if you put the energy into it, it's going to be incredibly successful. So just know that's a confirmation as well. Now here with the challenge and the Ace of Cups, there's that Four of Wands. Yeah, I think a part of you fears that maybe something isn't going to work out. This is because of something in the past that didn't. And this is just a challenge for you to see. Here we go. This may be your challenge, but here's what they're bringing you. This is what Spirit wants you to focus on. What you're passionate about and what creates that happiness. And not being worried that starting in this new chapter that you're going to be disappointed. As long as you're excited and driven, you're going to find that joy and happiness. And the question could be, is it going to emotionally fulfill me? Whether it's a relationship, a new home, or a new job, whatever it is that your focus is on, I feel like as long as your passion's in it, it's a new beginning, no doubt. It's almost like they're saying, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. You're just going to be drawn to do this. All right, so I'm going to clear this and we will take a look at you and your person. So think about them for just a moment. And if you're not sticking around for the love portion, thank you for being here. Please hit that like button on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next one. For those of you hanging out, let's get into the immediate energy going on. Okay, so you and your person. All right, so we have your person. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Let's get a little bit more. Four of Cups, Three of Cups. Okay, so this person may be feeling a little bit, at least they're not as stressed out as maybe they have been in the past. It looks like they may feel a little bit shut down emotionally right now. I, I just, when the Ace of Wands is in reverse, I think that the person's probably not inspired at this moment. Not that they're stressful. Maybe they're just focused on having a good time, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. Um, some of what they may have to offer emotionally may be a little bit less than you hope for, but it's almost like you give to them and they're having trouble receiving. So you may feel like your partner's just a little bit at bay emotionally. It doesn't mean that they don't care. To me, it's just saying they're not very inspired, but it's something connected to their own life. And they be, they're probably just focused on having a really good time. So it may be somebody that seems non-committal. Now let's see what your energy is. Six of Wands, good, you're focused on your success, Hermit. Part of you is thinking this through. Three of Swords. Maybe a part of you has been hurt by this because you thought things were, were going to work out differently. Um, but I, I don't feel like this person has been doing something to hurt you. They may have or may, something may have happened in the past. But I think you're so focused on the success of things that you're trying to work through it. And maybe you need to ask yourself. You need to go within and say, well, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel hurt? If they're emotionally not taking up my offer or something seems a little off and their focus is on just having a great time, they could be needing to align themselves at this moment. And just, it may feel hurtful, which makes perfect sense. It would if somebody's not very emotionally available. Let's see what we get with the Romance Angels. Okay, so it says, let your friends help you. Ask for and or I'm sorry, ask for and accept support from others. So maybe you just need to talk to some of your friends about it. And then the next card is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So you may have to go against your nat against your natural nature and kind of let things flow as this person goes through their dips. I want to say don't take it personally because it doesn't feel like it's personally directed towards you. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past and you'll experience more love in your present moment. Remember, I was saying you're releasing something. So if you have a, an experience from the past and this is triggering something that feels familiar, it may be time for you to do a little bit more internal work so that you can realize, okay, this isn't this person is not the same as the last person. They just seem a little bit 
like it. Something is happening where it's triggering you. All right, let's go to the next. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is making a choice within. Is this the type of relationship that you definitely want? Are you happy in it? What do you want to experience? And be very clear about it. I think your focus is very much on your success, yes. But again, if you're doing some internal work and a part of you is still connected to or is just releasing hurts from the past, it may be time to forgive and let go of that so that you can be happy. I mean, it's about your happiness. It's important. Let's see what we get from the Lover's Oracle. This is for Leo. Okay, so we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Now, if for some reason you're trying to make a decision and you don't feel very connected to the relationship, it will, of course, shift and maybe you want to step back and say, is this my soulmate? So you may be just asking the question. It is important right now to take a step. <laughs> what did I just say? To take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So that, like I said, that's important. You're focusing on your success, doing some inner work, and that has to come first. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, which is so true. So incredibly true. Deep in your heart, you already have the answer. Do what feels right. There you go. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. This is for Leo, please. What do we have for Leo? All that glitters. This card is the only card that keeps coming out. Sometimes when things are really shiny, we have to be careful. I don't take these cards in reverse, typically. But that's twice now it's come out this way. The number is 16, so you could be born on the 16th, the 1st, the 6th, or the 7th of the month. I think for you now, it isn't about what's shiny and pretty. It's more focusing on what is stable and comfortable and what works best for you. Then we have the yin energy. So you've got the feminine energy. This is the two. You could be born on the 2nd. I think for you, you want balance more than anything right now. Then we have serendipity. So this is that good luck. No surprise with all the aces I was seeing and the Ten of Pentacles prior to even pulling your cards. So something really good is coming in. It's a lucky month for you. It's your birthday month. So you could be born on the 18th, the 1st, the 8th, or the 9th of the month. And then we have clean it up. And I feel like this is what you've been doing. You could be born on the 21st, the 2nd, the 1st, or the 3rd. And it's just like cleaning out the cobwebs of your mind, of your emotions, and finding a really new happy space in which you can be. So it feels like it's going to be a great month. You could be doing some cleaning out as well, meaning organizing your life and just getting ready for this new birth year for you. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so much for being here. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, info's in the description box or the about section. Have an amazing month. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. See you in the next one.